All right, welcome everyone. This is Distributed Markdown Apps. I'm Richard Feldman. Uh, so like many people, I have a blog, which I don't write for very often. Uh, and also like many people, I know what you're supposed to do right now if you have a blog, which is to say you're supposed to self-host, get off of Medium and off these platforms that take all your monetization opportunities away from you. And you know what? I'm going to get on board that train. I, I know it's time. I'm going to self-host. I'm going to build my own stack. And I'm going to put rtfeldman.com on there on my own stuff that I coded which immediately leads to the next question that we'll, I will do instead of writing blog posts, which is figure out what is my tech stack going to be? Now I'm thinking like, okay, I, I know there's all this stuff out there that's like really, really cool, but you know what? I don't want to over-engineer this. I want to keep it super simple. So I'm just going to start with just Markdown, like plain old Markdown. Like Markdown's great. You know, you write stuff really concisely, really nice looking code, spits out stuff that looks really nice. Uh, it's, it's really great for static content. And this is a blog. That's all I'm doing, it's static content here. Cool, Markdown it is. So I'm thinking about uh, tech stacks and like how my stuff renders, and I, I realized, you know, so I use this thing called Instapaper. Anybody here use Instapaper? Yeah, okay. So it's a couple people. It's uh, basically something where you get to look at articles in the style that I want. Like it's all about looking at somebody else's content using my style as the reader. So it's about taking somebody's content, putting the reader's style on it rather than the author's style. And now that I'm thinking about this from the perspective of an author, I'm like, ah, that's like, I kind of like that, but also kind of don't. Because like, I mean, I put all this thought into how my blog post is going to look and, and the style and the look and feel of it. And it. It's kind of an expression of my personality. Like, you know, I, I like to have the title be green because I like the color green and like goes with my hair, you know, and stuff like that. And it's, it's like, I want that to kind of come through for the reader. And I, I really don't want them to override all of that. Like, what if they don't care about the title? What if like Instapaper could have like a default style and, and say like, okay, the, the author gets to say, this is the default and then the reader can override whatever they don't care about. So maybe my personality can come through just in the title, but not in, in everything. I think that'd be kind of nice. Maybe that's a nice feature suggestion for Instapaper. Anyway, uh, enough of that distraction. Let's, let's think about this, this, uh, this blogging engine. So I'm thinking about this. I'm like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to spice this up, though. I'm not just going to want to have plain old blog posts. I want to add a little bit of spice to the end of each one. I want to add a random Douglas Adams quote to the end of each blog post, something like this. It'll just end, at the end of each blog post with just a, a nice Douglas Adams quote. It'll just be randomly selected. And I'm like, I'm a programmer. I don't want to do this by hand, copy, paste, like find a quote each time. No, I want to have just like a repository of quotes and have my system just automatically inject one at the end of each post. That's so like, okay, well, what, what technology should I use for that? And I'm like, again, don't want to over-engineer it. Don't want to get too overcomplicated. Just write a bash script for it. You know, bash is great for small scripts and that's all I need. And then I'm like, okay, but now, now I'm thinking about how am I going to monetize this thing? Because when I'm writing all these blog posts, they're going to get millions and millions of views. I know this. And so I'm going to want to monetize all those, all those views. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to sell t-shirts. That's like the best way to monetize a blog, obviously. Uh, rtfeldman.com t-shirts, you know, coming to a, a store near you. Uh, but by store, I mean like I'm just going to put on some online thing. As I'm looking around at these like online stores, I'm like, man, all, all these checkout systems, like they want to take a cut of my money. It's just like medium, man. They just, they just want to take some of my monetization away from me. Forget that. I'm going to roll my own. I'm going to build my own checkout system for my t-shirts, for my blog, because that's, that's the whole point of all of this. So I'm like, cool, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like make a shopping cart. And then of course, the next question is like, well, if I'm building my own shopping cart, what's the tech stack going to be for my shopping cart? And so I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Well, look, I don't, I don't want to go and like get some really fancy thing. I already got this good thing going. You know, I already got marked down for my static content. Checkout's mostly static content. Like what are the prices? What are the images? And then I'm like, well, and then also, you know, I, I got bashed for my little small scripts. I could use that to make things dynamic. And then I'm like, oh, and actually I can make things dynamic on the fly. That's that's like how we used to do on the web back in the day, right? Like if I combine Markdown for the static content and bash, like if, as I get the HTTP request, dynamically decide which Markdown to render into HTML to send to the client, boom, I got dynamic content. I don't even need to change stacks. So then I'm like, cool, except, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, I forgot one piece, which is like, as my shopping cart gets more complicated, the styles get more complicated. And then I'm like, oh man, okay. So like, how am I going to deal with all these different styles that are going on? This is like a lot more complicated than what Markdown can do. But then I remember my Instapaper idea with the like default styles and reader styles. I'm like, cool, all these ideas, it's all coming together. This is great. If I put Markdown and Instapaper and Bash together, I can build a whole app. This is a great stack. And then this is when I get the like galaxy brain amazing idea. I'm like, this is not only a good idea for me, this is a good idea for everyone. This is going to be the future. This is, it needs a name. This is going to be distributed markdown apps. 
and it's going to take over the world. This is going to be like the way that people build applications in the future. I can see it just all over the planet. People are going to be building these things and shipping them to everyone. It's going to be amazing. It's going to revolutionize the way software is built. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, whoa, whoa, dude, dude, you, you've gone like way off the rails here. Like what, what are you even talking about? Like all of these technologies are being used for like the opposite of what they were designed for. Like Markdown is for static content, not dynamic content and not user interfaces. Like Instant Paper, the whole point is that it's the reader's style, not the author's style. And now you're using it to style an application and like Bash is for small scripts. It's not for building entire applications. Like there's no chance that this is going to become the thing that takes over the world. And I'm like, really? That could never happen? Like, that's, that's impossible? That would not... I don't know. I don't know. I, I think there's reason to believe that could happen. That could actually take over the world. Now, okay, okay. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, okay, yeah, 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 fine. But let's be real. Nobody's going to want to maintain like 100,000 line of code bash, like, no, that's just, that's just a disaster. Like nobody's gonna sit through that in real life. It's okay, it's okay. I thought of the solution. Yeah. Thanks very much. 